the village of Bethany lived a man named Simon. Once Simon had been a leper. He had to leave his family and home and live with other lepers. Then one day Jesus met Simon and Jesus healed him of his leprosy. Simon rejoiced and went back home to be with his family. Jesus was coming to Bethany. Because Jesus had healed Simon, he wanted to show Jesus how thankful he was, so he invited Jesus to a big dinner. All the disciples were there, along with Mary, Martha, Lazarus, and a lot of other people. Martha was helping with the dinner, but Mary stood where she could see Jesus without being seen. She listened to all he had to say. She loved him so much and wanted to be near him. Before this dinner, Mary had heard Jesus say that he was going to die. It made her very sad. She wanted to do something special for Jesus. She wanted to show him that she was grateful for what he had done for her. She took all the money she had and bought a box of sweet-smelling perfume. She was going to put it on his body after he was dead. But at Simon's party she heard the people talking about making Jesus the king. When she heard this she was happy. Then Mary had an idea. I will use my gift for Jesus right now, she thought. She slipped quietly from the room and came back, carefully holding her most treasured possession. It was a large and beautiful flask full of very expensive perfume. That will show him I love him, she thought. Mary waited until everyone began eating. Quietly she went to Jesus. Gently she put some perfume on his head and on his feet. Kneeling beside him, she dried his feet with her long hair. Soon everyone knew what she had done because the fragrance filled the whole room. Judas, one of Jesus' disciples, was angry. His harsh voice broke the silence. What a waste, he exclaimed. Think of the price of that perfume. We could have sold it and given the money to the poor. Judas did not really care about the poor. He was a thief. He would have spent the money on himself. Jesus saw the shadow that passed over Mary's face. Her action of love had been misunderstood. But Jesus had understood. Leave her alone, he said. What she has done is beautiful. There will always be poor people among you whom you can help, but you will not always have me. She poured this perfume on me to get my body ready to be buried. Then Jesus made a remarkable prophecy. Mary will always be remembered for this deed. The story of what she has done will be told throughout the whole world. She will be known wherever the gospel is preached. And so it happened through all the years that have gone by since then. Mary's lovely deed has never been forgotten. Can you think of some ways to show Jesus how much you love him?